going back through and killing those enemies isn't worth it. You really have to grind in the area. Uh, the area that you came from. Otherwise, you it's just kind of a waste of time. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, at least it's a easy, uh, easy trip back. Relatively. At least the money was good. Well, that does kind of put a damper on, uh, potential grinding trips, though. Alright, so do we have any routes that I haven't been through yet? The answer is no. Let's see. I kind of have a vague idea of most of these guys' health. And we're also... We do more damage. Like, I, I will give credit where credit is due. The uh, the longsword definitely... Definitely has got some punch punch to it compared to the previous weapons we were rolling. I do miss the, uh, the ridiculousness of the uh, giant club. But unfortunately, I think the further we get in, the more HP the enemies are going to have. And the harder this is going to get. But yeah, so this might be one of those where I, I grind a little bit off camera just so we don't have to... Uh, just so we don't have to wait. I'm going to... Uh, worth it. I'm an impatient person when it comes to getting loot and items in games. I kind of prefer to get it as soon as possible and then mess around with it. And if that ends up making me stupid powerful early, well, so be it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Every once in a while I want to play like a... Yep. Every once in a while I want to play a... JRPG. Where the, um... Where I actually just grind like crazy. Uh, more or less, like, series begins, I get past the, like, initial... Uh, I get past the initial, like, kind of couple of cutscenes. Uh, get into the game, find the first set of monsters, and then be like, Alright, I'll see you guys in, like, uh, you know, 10, 20 hours. And then just go, like, you know, just on a grinding sabbatical or something like that, and just be, like, stupid high level. And by grind, you mean Wander's gonna use Cheat Engine. No, I'm probably actually just going to grind in this game. Uh, Cheat Engine would be nice, but I'd like to actually have items. Uh, which is something that, uh... You know, I could cheat in a bunch of money, but it's not actually going to get me a bunch of, uh, uh, crafting components. That's what I do in Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Oh, we got a warp scroll. I... Ugh. Problem is the warp scroll is, like, stupidly expensive for its usefulness. I guess it's good if you're, like partway through a run, and you're not sure if you're going to make it. Okay, so last time I went up. This time, yeah, still can't go that direction. We've been through this. I'm getting a bit better at, uh, at timing their attacks. Now we get the bug nest here. This is why I keep clubs around. Bonk, bonk, ow. Bonk, 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 bonk. Worth it. Bonk. Okay, and back to the longsword. Oh. No, I like the, uh... I like the speed of the longsword just a little bit better. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. He exploded into fire. For a second I was confused, I was like, wait a second. You know, I thought those traps spit spikes. And the answer is, they do. Luckily that's fairly forgiving. Okay, so we're actually, we're actually speeding through this a lot faster than I thought I was going to. 
I was a little worried that uh, backtracking through this a second time around would be a uh, problem, but it's not. I really like these save shrine locations. They're they're pleasant. The the like weird monk dude is a nice look. Hello, Bone Morangicus. Ow. I tried ducking, but it didn't work so hot. I'm very glad we've moved away from the old D-pad style of movement systems in games, but I do have to give uh, give credit. It was a lot easier to have precision movement back in the day. There's there's something wildly imprecise about a, an analog stick. Room after boss, you can go up. Okay. I think I can also go up here. <laughs> well, I can't fault him for being determined. I can fault him for being inconvenient. Okay, what do we have over here? Kind of nothing. At some point, I'll finally find somebody that wants all these gems. And it will be probably quite wealthy. I'm glad that his uh, boomerang... Uh, I'm glad that his boomerang... Uh, disappears when you, when you properly kill him. Okay, this... Looks kind of like it sucks. Okay. Well, what do we get for, for this? We get a gold ring, all right? Well, it's probably better than the silver rings. Okay, ups my int. All right, so... It's marginally better, but you know what? Marginal upgrades is how, how we do, do better in this game. Tally ho. And looks like we're fine. Okay. Already beat in the boss room. What? You mean like the first boss? Okay. Uh. I guess we can go back uh, to that in a little bit. It's not a high priority, unless there's amazing things in there, I don't know. It never feels like any of the upgrades I get are, like, terribly considerable. It really does provide a lot of options. A lot of options? Uh, yeah. Like, this isn't like, uh, what's a good example of a Metroidvania? Where, like, if you miss something, it's, it doesn't matter that much. I guess we can we could always just go back to it very quickly. Uh I don't know if there's an easy way back though. No, you have to you have to travel a fair distance before you can you can get back to that. Well, let's go back to town for a second. I might pick up the shurikens. Just for, uh, just for added range damage. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's save, and let's, let's go on a shopping, shop scubbing spree. Buy! What do you, what could I buy? Okay, so what's the medallion belt do? Two int, three con, one luck, two defense. Okay. Protective shield. Magic Molotov, magic shuriken. Let's try the Magic Shuriken first. And the Magic Molotov. Let's see what those two do. Okay, so Magic Shuriken. Ah. Huh. There are potential applications for that. But I'm not sure if I like either of those. What 
Like, the knife is cheap. It doesn't do much damage, but it scales with int. Like, it might be better for me to go with a, with a turban and the monk's robe instead. Let's try the magic boomerang. Are, are you serious? That's the magic boomerang. What am I? Limp wrist the McWeak armed? What kind of shitty boomerang is this? I mean, it might actually be incredible, you know, it might hit enemies like a bunch of times, but like... Yeah, what if you keep pushing? No, I was holding it down for those. Like, when I'd throw it once, that was me trying to charge it. We can try again. I guess let's buy the magic axe as well, and let's get the magic shield. Oh, when you chose that spell, it said level one. Yeah, once you get her, uh, once you get her book of incantations, she can upgrade them. But, like, most of these don't seem terribly useful. Okay, that might be helpful. The, uh, the magic shield might actually be one of the only, only things that I care about right now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So, priest hat, more int, con, a little bit of defense. Silver crown, kind of same deal. Both are pretty pricey. Saving up for the silver crown might not be a bad idea, just because that's a bunch of int that would uh, crank up my dagger damage a bit. The onyx ring, kind of same deal, but that's 2,000 gold. That's tough. Otherwise, we could get the turban. And the monk's robe. The monk's robe, actually, isn't a bad idea. That's three int and one con. Or we could just wait. Let's just wait for now. Let's see, those were some very Castlevania abilities. It should not surprise anybody. Wow, you found a tonic recipe. Now I can make a potion that will restore your MP. I'll add it to the menu right away. And I have no interest in that. Let's farewell. Hopefully they add some more uh, abilities that are a little bit more original here. It's not bad that it's, you know, heavily inspired by Castlevania, but it'd be nice to see new things. Ah, you rescue Wynn! Ah, oh, that's great news! I bet she's, uh, he's already back in the tavern playing cards! Why anyone would spend all day playing games is beyond me, but to each their own. I prefer napping. Dreaming. Of napping! It's an endless loop! My life is perfect! Hey, where'd you go? Oh, well, back to napping! Anywho, uh, it's... I guess I just ultimately decided to do nothing, didn't I? Alright, well, that's fine. Let's see, are those subquests on the wall? Kinda, sort of. Uh, the subquests are mostly just, like, environmental storytelling, from what I can tell. I think this is where we want to be, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lever there. Felix Farron. Oh! No, I have no idea. I think this is actually one of the thieves. So it's been a long and perilous journey, but I believe we are nearly upon King Trill's castle. If the lost treasures of Linhein are just beyond this gate, then the information we paid for will be worth every penny. The clumsy fool Drake stepped on a trap plate and collapsed the passage we entered through. So we have no other option but to push forward. This lock is vexing, however. It looks much newer than the rest of the catacombs. As do these symbols, what could they mean? I've cracked a lot of locks in my time, but I've never seen anything like this. Perhaps we should just pull the lever and find out what happens. A star Cup Sword. Pull the lever! Oh, this is a bad idea. It looks like you might be able to crawl through there or something.
Who knows? Yep. Now, I am not acing these jumps. Oh, you are horrifying. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So that guy's kind of tough. I'm not entirely sure what to do about him in the future. Well, if we die, we can always come back. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, Chucklebug. It's kind of expensive. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, oh, hello. Blacksmith, maybe. Thanks for the help, friend. I'm Dom, the local blacksmith. I wish I could help you clear out these corridors, but I'm better at making swords than wielding them. Stop by my shop in Carthus sometime. I will give you a nice deal on some new equipment. I know you saved my life, but capitalism's capitalism. Oops. So, oh. crap, I'm gonna have to fight this guy, aren't I? I guess we can actually... We can actually fight him without spending any mana. It's just kind of slow. They have a lot of HP. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, we might actually be able to buy that Onyx Ring without too much trouble. I'm not entirely sure where to get the, uh... The gems from, but whatever. Uh... uh blah, 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 blah. I guess let's make our way back out. Okay, this one fires a little faster than the others. And some damage. Okay, so we've got Jumpski the spider. Okay, now that I've got that... Hey, can I have that sword? That was a bit of a gamble. Another boomeranger. Good. You thought you could hit me with that last boomerang. That was a critical mistake. Okay, yeah, I'm running out of mana just a little bit here. Okay, another token. I'm hoping we can find save points. I'm like, I'm kind of desperate for them just because like, I take a lot of damage here. Antidote recipe. Well, that's disconcerting. That didn't work. Okay. But yeah, the ideal of lost progress is not an attractive one to me. I don't I don't enjoy uh, playing games where like you die, you just you have to reload. Um it's not super terrible, but like, you know, I've always, I've always been a fan to some small degree of games where it's like, I, I guess Dark Souls kind of does it well. Uh, we didn't actually jump, he just kind of landed. So you can just run across those. Okay, that's, that's a good sign. Dark Souls does it kind of well. Um... Where it's like you can get your stuff back generally. Damn it. Yeah, sometimes I miss the jump. Though it is forgiving enough that you can actually, uh. You don't actually have to. Keep moving there. There we go. Okay, I think there's actually more on the other side. But, hello. After we finally worked up the courage to pull the lever, Drake and I split up to look for clues. I discovered frescoes down here I believe contain clues to opening the gate. If I'm correct, there should be three frescoes total, so I'll retrace my steps and hunt down the others. I hope Drake didn't get himself completely turned around. He's a lunkhead, but I could really use his help in fending off these monsters. Okay, so four swords. If anybody wants to, uh, help me remember these. I don't think I remember a fresco in the previous area, but there might actually be one. Ow. 
There is falling damage. It's just when it feels like being a jerk. Oh. I guess if the skeleton lanterns respawn, I might as well make the most of it. I'm not going to be able to get up to that even if I wanted to. Spider can kill me. I should probably actually eat some food. Hopefully we get the ability to buy food at some point. Hopefully there's also a point where you're getting um getting more food isn't impossible. Cause yeah, I, I hate having to have having to buy food in in these games. Especially when it's pricey. I guess we do have the uh, healing potions that I can buy. Oh, jeez. So I have to go back through this. Well, ow. I guess we could always just reload and come back through it at a later date, but still. Let's see. Right. No need to uh, spend my money on this. There we go. Or my money, my mana. I think there's another one somewhere. Nope, no fresco in this room. Which means we need to fight Roaring Stan again. I want to say there was another kind of semi-procedurally generated platformer like this that I played a while back where you were playing as like a girl with a sword and a shield I think it was god I don't remember a thing about it though it was years ago I played like part of it I want to say it, like it had Olympia in the name maybe uh yeah I, I sincerely don't remember the name of it but it was, uh... It was kind of equally... Well, no, I actually don't remember if the combat was slow, but it was very punishing. You you could very easily just run out of, uh... Run out of resources incredibly fast. And then, I think you had, like, a limited number of lives. And after you died, you'd have to start the whole process over again. I... I don't know. I'm glad the industry more or less as a whole, has kind of moved away from that. Lost progress is less exciting than you'd think it would be. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and spin the wheel of fate. This wheel is for those who like to put it all on the line, but be careful. Just like life, it doesn't always come up roses. Will you spin the wheel of fort fate? No. Come back when you're ready to spin. Sure. I just want to see if I can find a shortcut first. Yeah, you're horrifying. Ah! Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, apple. Turkey leg. I'm not actually sure if you're... If I would consider this fair. Holy crap, how much HP does this thing have? I got it. Cost of all my food. Uh, please tell me there is something worthwhile on the other side of this. Actually, it might be the only way up. Okay. Four stars? Probably four stars. Uh, let's see. Oh, we leveled up. Yeah, that wasn't a boss. That was just an enemy with a ton of health. Yeah, the music in this game is nice, but it's very repetitive. Uh, somebody brought that up in chat, but... Uh, it's like, it's got a good ambiance to it, but... 
it's like every area has one song. And maybe maybe a song for the boss fight. And compared to like other games uh, from this genre. I mean, Ori and the Blind Forest is a great example of one of these with an amazing soundtrack. It's just like... And I, I don't think I ever got like particularly bored of it. Okay. None of the songs are particularly catchy, either. Like it would help if they were, like, uh, really, you know, catchy, awesome songs. But they are... It feels like it's menu music. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's very much just like I could see a uh, I could see like the I could see like the you know the main menu playing this music on like you know practically any game. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's see. Can you trick the screamer off the edge? I don't know actually. Ow! Deserve that. Jumped a little early. But yeah, I, uh, I I do have to agree. The Castlevania games had some real nice songs, and so like I I think this game is you know kind of trying to go in the same same vein. And like I can see where they're going with it, but uh, yeah, I can see where they're they're going going with it, but uh, I think it misses misses some of the old soul. Uh, well, I screwed up. Cause yeah, we gotta we gotta push it off the long platforms there. Okay. I mean, another easy example, I guess, would be Axiom Verge, which we were kind of talking about earlier. Uh, that is a that was a game that I still listen to the soundtrack for. Uh. And like I don't, I'm not even a particularly large fan of Axiom Verge, to be totally honest. Um, but the soundtrack for for it is is phenomenal, and I will I will load it up when I'm just like writing and and drawing and st stuff, and I'm just like yeah, I'm just gonna listen to the Axiom Verge soundtrack. I think I was actually listening to it while I was shopping at Target today, because well, whatever the music they have on is never particularly good. Okay, uh, let's see. Seven, seven cups. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure those are procedurally generated. Okay, so there, there's some stuff back here that I should probably uh, backtrack for eventually, but we'll do that once I'm strong enough to do so. Oh, shortcut room. Yay, finally. Axiom Verge is a masterpiece. Imagine a single guy made it completely alone. It's stunning. The one thing I will say is Axiom Verge did not feel like, uh... The, the movement in Axiom Verge felt real awkward. Oh. Oh, this isn't a standard shortcut cave. This is... This warps me back and, back and forth between... Or... No, it doesn't. It is, it is a totally standard shortcut cave. Okay, while we're here, let, let's go save. We don't have an easy, easy to find save location. Yeah, four sword, three to four star, and seven chalices. Yeah. Okay, so what's this guy say? Bye. So we can get a bandana, a knife, a leather belt. So, defense and constitution. Does increase my strength. It does reduce my intelligence, though. That's tough. Chainmail is just a bunch of defense. Bronze armor, even more. Broadsword. Push dagger.
Yeah, so if I want to be Tankamus Supreme, I could go with this. Oh, Silver Armor. Gives me a little bit of uh, defense and a little bit of int. Uh, useful as both a tool and a weapon. I don't know if any of these uh, weapons are particularly good. How does the leather belt increase or decrease your IQ? Uh, it's because it overrides um, one of my pieces of equipment. I've already got a spear. Well, friend, are you up for a mission? I have some equipment for sale, but I can't create anything new. Those creatures took my forging hammer when they raided the town. It was given to me by my father when I began smithing, and I promised I'd uh, to always use it. Once my hammer has been recovered, I can craft new items from the raw materials you find. Keep your eyes open. Let me know if you find it. Okay, can I sell stuff to him? I'll at the very least sell the spares. I don't know if you can upgrade, uh... So, I don't want to sell, uh... The short sword, for example, because there's a small possibility. Uh, it's going to require a short sword as a raw, raw material. And that's... Kind of important. Okay, so how much money do I have? 810. I think I'm just gonna keep saving for like the obsidian crown or something. No reason to spend money until we actually have like an immediate pressing need to do so. I'm sure spending money right now would uh, actually speed things along. Like, don't get me wrong on that one. But, eh. Okay, so we've got, oh, we're right here. Right next to puzzle territory. Perfect. So it was let's let's try four stars. There we go. Okay. Now this is probably progress. Ah. Mummy farts. Ah. And, of course, contact damage as they continue to walk forward? Oh. He also summons dudes. At least the summon dude doesn't have, uh... Or, the summon dude is worth EXP. I always hate that, uh, in games where it's like, Oh, it's a summoned enemy! For whatever reason, they're not worth any uh, any EXP at all. Why? Hell if I know. <laughs> oh look! Mummy bread. Tasty. Is he gonna come my this direction? Nope. Yeah, so they're not leashed on, like, a direct path like the goblins are. Because I think those those goblins that we ran into in the very beginning of the game, those were, like, unyielding in terms of, uh, you know, never deviating from the same path. 